I want to thank you for coming to, I think this is our fourth annual um, Poconoke Heritage Day. So thank you for coming, everyone. Wanikisak, <laughs> Kwe. Thank you and welcome again to the ancestral homeland of the Poconoke tribe of the Poconoke Nation. This is our ancestral homeland. It is called Soams. We've been here for more than 10,000 years before colonization. And the Creator, He put our people here to care for this land, to take care of this land, to live in peace, harmony, and balance with it and everything on it. And I would just like to acknowledge my ancestors who did just that. I would also like to acknowledge the Poconoke people who today are still trying to restore balance to this land, to Mother Earth. I would like to introduce Sagamore, and he is the head leader of our tribe, of our nation. Um, I want him to say a quick welcome and... <laughs> <laughs> a quick welcome, and um, then we will have um, Sachem Harry Hawk. He's going to do a tobacco prayer for you. We say uh, a ho, and I hear a ho from you folks out there. Oh. A ho. That's welcome. <laughs> uh, I am Harry Hawk Edmonds. Kwanunin in the Algonquin language, Hawk. And I got that name playing basketball for East Providence and University of Rhode Island. I had a hawk eye, so they start calling me Harry Hawk Edmonds. So I want to welcome everybody here today. I'd like to offer a sacred tobacco offering to give thanks to our creator 
for bringing us all together here to share in our indigenous culture. My ancestors fought a war in 1675-1676. It was called the King Philip's War. And they fought that war to save and preserve their way of life, to save their land. They had to assimilate in order to survive and adapt the ways of the settlers. They were deprived from speaking their language. So I'd like to offer this sacred tobacco offering in the language of my people, the Algonquin language that they spoke back in the day. Although we spoke different dialects, our people were able to understand and communicate with one another. This sacred tobacco prayer is all about honor and respect, which is the indigenous people's way. We honored and respected just about everything, especially Mother Earth, where we all came from, where we will all hopefully go back to one day. I will also offer this sacred tobacco prayer in English language so you don't think I'm talking gibberish. I will begin. Can I get everybody to stand, if you can stand? Remove your hats. Grace Spirit, I offer this tobacco. Mother Earth, I offer this tobacco. Grandmother Moon, I offer this tobacco. Grandfather's son, I offer this tobacco. I thank you. I offer this tobacco to the four directions, to the east, to the south, to the west, to the north. I thank you for all my relations. The winged nation, the creeping, crawling nation, the four-legged nation, the green and growing nation, and all things living in the water. Honoring the clans, the deer, the bear, the wolf, the turtle, the snipe, and the rabbit. Great spirit, I offer this tobacco. Oh. Oh. I thank you folks for being here today to share in the indigenous culture of our people. If you hear the heartbeat of the drum and you feel you want to come into the circle, as long as you're smudged, we welcome you in to dance, to dance with us. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is my elder brother, Braveheart. He's a Korean vet, fought in the Korean War. He's 89 years old. And I'm 88 years old, so we're a couple old bucks trying to keep our culture alive and well. <laughs> and so we, we, we kick it up in the circle of life. Thank God we can still do it. Oh. Uh, thank you. Akwini, that's peace in my language. Sobane, thank you for coming out today. Uh, how many of you know who Poconoke is? A lot of people don't know who Poconoke is. You know who Poconoke is? Well, I'm going to tell you, Poconokit is the tribe of the Massasoit, Osanique, who greeted the pilgrims here at Plymouth. And Osanique, yellow feather in our language, that's what Osanique means, signed the first peace, peace treaty with the Europeans. And that treaty lasted 54 years. Oh. Well, just want to say, uh, please be seated. Please be seated. Yes. Thank you. Don't want to put any stress on anyone because I'm in my 80s also. So, <laughs> but these are my older cousins. And he didn't mention that uh, Hawk is uh, chief of Anawan's line. Anawan was the head Pinesi for the Pocanoka tribe, a second like five star general. And uh, he was head Pionese for Osamiquin, who greeted the pilgrims, and then for his son, King Philip, better comment.
King Philip Metacom was the same person. Uh, he was the uh, head pioneer for him during the King Philip War. He was in his 80s when they killed him. All right? So I guess that's something that uh, uh, I, most, a lot of my sub chiefs are in their 80s. So that way. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I wanted him to pray uh, particularly because our, our people are known as a praying people. And uh, the first exploits of these lands within our ancestral realm was by uh, Keith, uh, Miguel Cordero, and that was in 1502. And then in 1524, Farazano came here. You know about the Farazano Bridge over here, the Newport Bridge is uh, by, uh, is by uh, Giovanni Farazano. And he sailed into Narragansett Bay and then the Mount Hope Bay. And he was observing the uh, people on the shore there, a montop, you call it Mount Hope, we call it montop. And he always had their hands lifted up to the Creator, thanking the Creator for all that he had done for them. And he wrote back to the king and he said, these are the goodliest people I've met on my journey so far. And so this is why we always start out with prayer. The Botany Wuchi, that's a song of giving thanks to the Creator was written by my uh, cousin Judy Jen, the strong woman. And then, to Cork does the tobacco prayer. And uh, I just want to, you know, thank uh, my chiefs that are here today. I have a chief here from uh, Nova Scotia. Could you raise your hand? Uh, Zedrick Birdie. Uh, he's chief of the, uh, he's from Corner Corners Line. Uh, we have a council. We don't have a council with, with the chair and the vice president and the secretary. We have a council of chiefs, which is traditional. He's from he's from Corner Quinters Line. I have a chief here in the, in the states from Corner Quinters Line. He's not here today. Uh, he's not feeling well. He's he's 87 years old. Like I said, my chiefs are up there. Although, Bertie, I know you're only about 39, right? <laughs> and then I have one from uh, Amy. Amy's line is represented back there, and uh, she, uh, uh, Tony Marie Walmsley, she's from the Walmsley line. Uh, Amy was King Philip's sister. I am, uh, I am uh, the great grandson of the Master Sergeant Osamika, who reached the Pilgrims here and signed the first peace treaty with the Europeans. I am the ninth generation great grandson of King Philip. Metacomet. Historically, he was known as King Philip, but his name was Metacomet. And I am the sixth generation great grandson of Simeon Simon, who was George Washington's hand picked bodyguard. And uh, there's a little booklet over there at our table that explains uh, some of that information. But that's my family line coming down to me today. That mural in downtown province of Indian Princess, that's Princess Redwing. She was the chief before me. Uh, she died in 87. She was in her 90, 93 years old when she died. And she was, uh, she received a uh, proclamation from Governor J. Joseph Garrity. And on that proclamation it said, Princess Red Wing of the Seven Crescents, Royal House of Poconoke, Poconoke Tribe. Uh, her checks from the government were always signed to Seven Crescents, Princess Red Wing of the Poconoke Tribe, Royal House of Poconoke. Although she was Narragansett, uh, she comes from King Philip's line. She was born in 1895, and basically, uh, I, I became the chief after her. I never aspired to be a chief, uh, but uh, I guess my uh, elders had different ideas. So basically, uh, <laughs> we're here today. Just want to let you know you're in the land of Solomons, and Solomons today is a little different than it was in the time of the Master so had also making a welcome to Pilgrims. Uh, basically, this here part of Solomons was actually part of Massachusetts until 1748. Barrington, Warren, Bristol, Rhode Island, East Providence, and uh, part of uh, Providence was all part of uh, Bristol County, Pawtucket, and some of uh, what you call uh, Attleboro Grove, Cumberland, going up, going up that way up north. But our territories went all the way down to the Cape. But the tribe itself lived in Solms. And Solms is Somerset, Rehoboth, Swansea, Seacon, East Providence, Barrington, Warren, Bristol, and parts of Providence. That's where the tribe lived. Our nation went all the way down to Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard Island. That's why that first peace treaty was signed by uh, 
many of the uh, sub chiefs who were uh, tributary to the uh, master slave. But that's just a little bit of history about our tribe. Just want you to know that the master slave lived right here, and he's buried right on these grounds here. All right, and a lot of people don't know that, but that when Governor Carter was the governor, first governor of the uh, Plymouth Plantation, he sent his emissary right here to Water Street. Over here, you know where the Wharf Restaurant is? Yeah. That little park next to it? Well, that's when they believe they took a hammer out the uh, details of the treaty, and then the Master Sawyer went down to Plymouth to sign the treaty. But it, he came right down here to see the Master Sawyer. So you're on ground zero. This is where the history of your country began. Right here in Seoul, so the most, most densely populated area in the time of the New World. And I'm going to turn this over. And Sagamore to will be over at the history table. He has lots of our history right in his head. Please go over there. Our tribal historian will be here as well. Um, so please visit the history table because there's a lot, lot more for you to learn about our people. So we're going to get started. And we have a lot planned for the day, so enjoy. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Good morning. Hey, okay. hey. Can you tell me your name? Hi, I'm Susie the Jesus. And where do you live? I live in Swansea. And how did you find out about this event? Through the Soams uh, website. Yeah. And by using the interactive map, finding all our wonderful historical spots. Have you been to some of them? I've been to most of them, actually, because wow. of the uh, easy accessibility with with the links love it okay well that's great and would you think it's a good idea to make this into a national heritage area absolutely yeah. so with your help and everybody else's help we can get that done absolutely okay thank you very much you're welcome well I'm going to tell you something. The Sky Queen, she had two children, you know. One was very, very good, but the other was very, very bad. Every time the good son did something, the bad son would do something to mess it up. For instance, the good son would make a beautiful, sunshiny day like we have today. But the bad son, oh, he would cause it to thunderstorm, to hail, to lightning. The good son, why, he made a beautiful flowing metal that we could drink the water from. And the bad son, oh, he filled it with all the frogs and water snakes. The good son made a beautiful meadow. We could go and get berries and eat the berries. But you know the bad son, he filled it with the prickers, the spiders. Oh, that poor lady always trying to separate the good from the bad. Well, you know, she did grow old one day. She grew old and she died. And they got her body and they buried it in the earth. And do you know from her body started growing all the things that you can eat? Because you know why? Mother Earth provides for her children. And she's still providing for us today. Mother Earth takes good care of us, so you know what? We need to take good care of Mother Earth, don't we? And remember earlier when I was talking about balance, right? That's what we all need to do. We all need to live in balance. We all need to take care of Mother Earth. And I want to tell you, that if the Creator puts something here on this earth, then it belongs here. And it's not up to us to say that it does not belong here. I don't care what it is. If it's a tree, 
if it's the air, if it's a stone, if it's an animal, if it's another person. If the Creator put it here, then it was meant to be here and it's not up to us to try and get it out or to do away with it. Now, <laughs> I want you to think, think of, of this earth. Think of everything as a big circle and everything on this earth is a web that connects that circle together. You and I, the trees, the rocks, the water, the animals. Now if an animal becomes extinct, that web breaks. If the water becomes polluted, that web breaks. If a plant becomes extinct, that web breaks. And what happens if enough webs break? Enough strings, the web falls apart. Everything falls apart. So I want you to remember that what you do to the web, you do to yourself. What you do to this earth, you do to yourself. And I'm going to take it one step further because we live on this earth, but then we die. There are others who come after us who have to live on this earth. We don't own this earth. We're just passing through it. So what you do to this earth, you're doing to your children and your grandchildren and all of those who come to follow you. So you need to take care of this earth that we live on. And I'm going to tell you something. We go down to the water and the water is sick. The water is sick. We sing to the water. We sing to the water to heal the water. And people used to think that we were crazy when we talk about we sing to the water. But do you know, I just read an article that says when you talk to the water, when, when they've done experiments, when you talk to the water, just like when you talk to plants, when you talk to the water, the molecular structure of the water changes. Right? My people are smart. They knew this. <laughs> and we call it the healing pool. And we go and we sit there and we let the water just kind of fill up as we sit on the rocks. And it not just heals your body, but it heals your spirit. It heals your soul because it's good to be together. And while we're there, we sing to the water. Wherever we go, actually, we sing to the water. So let's, let's uh, see if we can get... As soon as we get. Mimi wobble and Diane, I miss me, Mimi wobble. Hey, I hey, I hey, I hey, hey, I hey, I hey, I ho, hey, I ho, hey, I ho, hey, I ho. Hey, 
It. Pick it up a little and put it down so that you can crush it. Good job, Sky. <laughs> is she doing it right, Jade? She is. Yes? All right. Nice. Good job, Sky.